And as they, they confirm the cases of COVID-19 increased globally, the livelihood of many is on the negatively affected, particularly for inside developing nations like Obodo Ninja. Plenty of organizations, they don't rise to the occasion to help poor communities as they take the distribute food and other daily needs. The Benjamin uh, Olowo Jebutu Foundation, BOF, and are one of that kind of organization. Our correspondent, Adibanke Odunui, she get the rest of the story. Joy and excitement fill the atmosphere as the team from the Benjamin Olowo Jebutu Foundation, BOF, arrived at Okeletu in Korodu, Lagos. The organization visited the community to donate palliative to the less privileged. The pandemic has made earning a living hard for some of the country, even with the ease of the lockdown. This has necessitated the stepping up of individuals and organizations such as Benjamin Olowo Jebutu Foundation. What we do naturally is to um, do free surgeries around Nigeria and Africa. That's what our foundation does to people. But because of this COVID-19 pandemic, we're moved by love and compassion to feed 500 families, which we started last week. And we went to Egon, Alimosho, and we went and we went, um, Igbe. But we chose to come to Okeletu in Ikururu because of um, um, last, last um, year, we were here to do free surgeries for over 176 people in this community um, when we were marking the, the 100 days in office of Governor Son So we, 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 we realized that there are a lot of work to do in this town. So we, come back, we came back to feed a couple of families in this place. A community leader of Ukele to express gratitude to the organization while asking the government for its assistance. I appreciate the courage and the assistance being done by the, the doctor that brought this palliative for us, Benjamin uh, Olowo Jebu Foundation. Sincerely, I really appreciate him. The entire community of Okele to really appreciate him. We appreciate the government of uh, San Wolu. We want the government to come to our aid. Beneficiaries of the palliatives showed prayers of gratitude to the philanthropic organization. I feel so excited and happy. When one of my staff that was working with this hospital called me and said, Mommy, you are living in Okeleto, I want you to come and be a beneficiary. And I pray that God will continue to lift them up. Whatever they are doing, the Lord will continue to progress them. Because I don't expect that you come and do a sort of this today. But today, I am really happy. I know that God will bless all of you. We may not be sure of the expiry date of these perilous times, but one thing we are sure of is the fact that love, philanthropy, and care for each other still exist in the Nigerian society. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Adebanke Odunui.